Hey guys, it's Will from Tested. I'm Norm from Tested. Norm, I have an Android tablet in my left and right hands. Does that mean we're actually going to do an Android apps of the week? It's time. Oh, it's about time. Let's go into the app market and see what tablet optimized apps are available. Uh, first app is Newser. Newser without an E. So News R. Er, Newser. How yeah. very hip and trendy. Mm, I don't like it already. Uh, so this is pretty much this is pretty much the only tablet optimized straight Android newsreader I've seen so far. So we, we've looked at other apps like Pulse, Pulse, uh, which is, is more a little more stylized. This is a straight taps into your news RSS feed um, and and just pulls all your stories yeah. from your Google account. Whoa! Uh -oh. Oh, 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 not so safe this. So basically, what ha what what this does? You can share articles, of course, with friends over Twitter, email, whatever. I don't know why you would ever send a link with Bluetooth, but whatever. Uh, you can uh, go in here, share the article with your friends. Like these functions on the right side of the screen are Google Reader functions. So yeah, sure. mark is unread, red. Yep. start for later. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this top one does. Oh, uh, this is the full the view. Yeah. That's actually really handy. I wish that that was an easier thing to find because I didn't know that that was something you could do. Yeah, otherwise, you, just if you click now. the link, it actually opens the web browser yeah. and uh, you're getting out of the app. Yeah. Like to keep it in the app. So this is a tablet optimized uh, app. So. It does make use of all the screen real estate. I do like how the uh, the far left and the middle bars aren't you know taking up too much space. More space. Yeah, it's really small. To to the actual article. Um, I I I actually like this. It's a little slow changing between feeds, but the way I use RSS readers, I tend to load up the entire feed and then read one thing and mark everything underneath that as read. Which and is it's what you just sorted by there. date, or you can you know tap into another feed and you know just read your boy boy yeah. feed. It's, it's reasonably capable, performance could be better. It's a good start. If you're looking for a newsreader on Android, this is where I would start. If you guys have stuff uh, that you would recommend, post in the comments. The next thing we're gonna look at is the aptly named Pew Pew 2. Two. Hmm. The sequel to Pew Pew, which was a free to play uh, Android game. Now I loaded this up and the first thing I thought was, oh God, it's another Geometry Wars clone. Yeah, I see a grid. Which would be a big giant bummer. However, I, this game is kind of cool. Uh, instead of playing like a traditional Geometry Wars clone, it is an adventure game. So there, oh. there are things that you do. You have different kinds of weapons. So the weapons are color coded. Right now, I'm using red guns to kill red enemies. In a moment, I also seem to be hooked to something in some sort of saw-like trap. Now you can move to the next level. I'm moving to the next level. Oh, avoid, I'm avoid, the avoid. Needle. capture. I'm gonna pick up these power. Oh, I have shields now. Um, no, oh, oh ouch. ouch! Ouch! That looks like an asteroid. I don't it's know. Like a, a mashup of a Jump up, Through oh, no, and uh, Smash TV and Asteroids. Oh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's crazy. I kind of like it. So this is the kind of game that actually works better on a tablet because the levels aren't taking up the full screen. If you play this on a phone, it'll be very small. Yeah, if you played it on a phone, you'd also have a hard time controlling uh, inside, you know, with, without your. Avoid phone those non-Tie Fighter things. And it, you know, they're kind of mazy. It's very reminiscent. It kind of reminds me of Mouse Trap, actually. I don't know if you remember that. Classic arcade game. Classic I stand by game. my Smash TV, Jump Shoe Wars, Asteroids. Norman, this is Hex Defense. Uh, tower defense game. It is a tower defense game. It is very, very reminiscent of, I think, Geo Defense. Geo Defense iPhone. 2. Geo Defense 1 was more about on tracks, and 2 had the, the hex grids. This one, uh, yes. This one is very much like 2. Uh, this is. I like this game, despite the fact that it is pretty poorly put together. Mm -hmm. um, for example, I don't know what any of these turrets at the bottom of the thing do, well, clearly, other than by experimentation. The red one is better than the green one because it costs $5 more. Right. But is the red one a missile? Is it bullets? It's, it fires uh, some sort of invisible mm. beam type weapon. It must be an infrared laser or something. Red always represents rockets in tower defense games. Yep. That's uh, clear to anyone. Uh, it's This is a passable tower defense game. It is not an amazing Four more right. dollars and you can deploy a red one. Yes, I do oh, it. Do it now, do it now. Rockets. It is rockets. That's a nice little rocket launcher. Yep. And you can upgrade, Bam. sell, all the other things. The game here is, of course, place turrets, block off certain paths, destroy the sometimes, waves. We are anti wave. Sometimes the paths don't make any sense at all. Anti new wave. Well, everybody's anti new wave. This is Google Body, Norman. Uh, an official Google app. Um, okay. Whoa! Stop zooming. Not what oh, I there meant to do. Okay. So you have an avatar here, and yes. you can see her bones. You can see her muscles. Muscles. Her skin. Mm. Her bones. You can search for an individual bone. For example, cranium. That's also a, that's a, a board game. game. 
No, it's fine. It's a bad game, dude. Oh, uh, cranium does not work. How about femur? Femur. Those are the only two bones I know. Femur. If it doesn't pop yeah. up in search, you're not going to see it. You can search for muscles. Trapezius. What? Uh, uh, someone That's who shoulders. took. I took gross anatomy. Yes. Uh, you can search for, uh, uh, let's see, stomach. Okay. And it oh. switches to different layers. You can see different types. Like there's basically circulatory system, uh, neuro, neuro, uh, central nervous system, uh, skeletal system, muscle system, and other. If I were to make a low budget pulmonary, if I were to make a low budget science fiction film involving anatomy or some type of dissection, I would use this app. Yes, as some type of display. You can, uh, unfortunately, well, I tried to search for naughty things. That didn't work. Okay. Um, I tried, appreciate you did the full testing. I hey, never, never stop. You can't. Uh, some things that are weird, you can tap on some stuff. Other stuff you cannot. Uh, so, for example, that is a pleura, it's like a lung. Yes, that is a large intestine. Uh, it, it's this isn't an encyclopedia. The learning apps that we've used on iPad are significantly cooler than this. Uh, there's really. Not really a, a middle this. school app. However, it's free. Yeah, it's perfect for middle schoolers, except for the aforementioned, I looked up the audio bits and it doesn't work right. Oh. This next game is called SpeedX 3D Free. So extreme. It is pretty extreme. Uh, this game is a tunnel racer, similar to Wipeout or something like that, but much simplified. Whoa, so and you, using you, the, uh, the, the gyroscope? The gyroscope or accelerometer. the accelerometer, depending on which device you have. Your goal is to not hit shit as you go down this tunnel at increasingly faster speeds. You know, my, uh, my gut feeling tells me to follow the track, but in this game, following the track would lead you into... Following the, the track is death. Oh, oh whoa, the map the exploded. Where my... It's not a hole anymore. You can, this is... I'm seeing through time. Welcome to the Flatlands. Oh, my God, I'm on You're the You're going to black out. I don't want to black out. Oh, good God. That's racist. I, I just hit, oh, I hit something. So it constantly accelerates until you reach uh, ludicrous Terminal. speeds. Yes. And, uh, and then you hit a block. It's just a pretty good game. Go. I have actually enjoyed this quite a bit. Speed X free, well worth paying to remove the ads in, I think. Let's see what extreme is. Uh, and the nice thing about this, the way this Travel game works. through the white tube. Uh, the nice thing about how this game works is you can actually if you want to hold it up, you can hold it up. If you want to hold it down, it, like it calibrates when you start the race, so you don't have to worry about changing settings. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, Avoid the, the greens and the blues. Stay on the white. All these tracks are. It will black out in two oh. seconds. Inverse coloring. Oh my god! Okay, I like this game. This is what I like to think of as craps of the week. We right looked now. at five good apps. Here yes. are two that you should not download. Stupid, First, stupid zombies. Stupid this zombies. is a huge ripoff of Cut the Rope or Angry Birds. And also... And Plants vs. Zombies. Oh. And every other zombie game. And also, uh, that's Ash. That's clearly Ash. So you aim, the bullets are magical, much like the one that killed Kennedy, and bounce recklessly around the level. Also, you can't control when they fire, other than just by letting off the button. So it's a magical bouncing bullet game. And you can move? Ash. Hmm? Can you move? Uh, no, you cannot move. You can't move, and the bullet can't kill you. The either. bullet cannot kill you. You are you are immune to bullets. Uh, seems like the only way to get three stars is to kill every zombie with a one magic bullet. This is not a good game. Also, in craps of the week, a porkalypse. Oh no! Oh no! 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 So this looks like a really fun action game, right? Like. I'm thinking like some sort of riff on Angry Birds about yeah, how they're, the they're things pigs. are from hell. Yeah. Um, Look, that pig has wheels. And this one's eating a large subs. It, that, that pig ate the, the loading bar. Okay. I like eating loading bars. However, what we have here is a really low frame rate kind of Look, he's maze, wearing a neckerchief. Maze finding game. Like the pig, I don't know if you're watching the controls here. This game is... Watch the flamboyant pig Things walk across <laughs> the land. Just because he's wearing a scarf doesn't mean that we need to make any kind of uh, guesses. Oh my god, I just got hit and lost a coin. Uh, it, it's it's hard to control. It's What's the opposite of fun? Not fun. Yeah, it's that. And uh, it kind of makes me want to hurt somebody, but not a pig. I, I feel maybe the birds played this game before they were angry. 
I feel pretty angry right now. Oh my god, it's so slow. Why is this game running at five frames a second? Craps of the week. Also, since you are a pig, you can eat things, including bales of hay. That's the crappiest water I've ever seen rendered in a game. Well, it's cartoon water. I, I mean, I, I, it's the puzzles are all linear. That's the other problem. Is like if you had different ways you could go, like Isla Milo style or something like that, then then you could argue that there is yes a game here. Hey, look, but, that pig is called the War Pig. It's a play on words. I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this pig. Oh, he shoots. Oh wait, now I'm controlling this pig. Oh, he has tank treads. Yay. I just, I, I, I get it. I have it to shoot. It both sucks and blows. <laughs> and the transition to Wayne's world is complete. So how did you feel about the the crap? Started. I started off pretty pretty happy. Five pretty decent apps, some fun games, and then downhill real fast. It was a porcalypse. <sighs> I give those apps one sigh. See you guys next time. Bye.